Hey everyone, this is Melanie with Thriving Fishbowl, and I needed something easy for supper tonight because I have had sick children for one week now. And so two of them have gone to the doctor today and they have sinus infections and so we have the bubblegum medicine going on in the home. So I am making healthy shrimp scampi. And so I'm going to tell you what I've done. I put two tablespoons of butter into an iron skillet and then I took shrimp and I added it to it. Now I did two bags because I have six people in my family, but you can get um, shrimp peeled, deveined, and tail off at Walmart for just over $4. So um, obviously shrimp is a more expensive um, meat or whatever you want to call it, um, seafood, but for, you know, once in a while, um, we like it. Okay, so what I've done is I put two bags of shrimp in there, and then I seasoned the shrimp, and I seasoned it with several things. I do cumin, paprika, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, pepper, onion powder and cayenne pepper. So I seasoned it. And then um, I did the same thing for two, um, I don't know if you can see, I have two pans here. This is, I'm doing the kids, they don't like shrimp scampi, so they just have shrimp seasoned. And I put olive oil on the bottom of one of them instead of butter, okay? And then also for the kids, I add a little bit of seasoning salt because they like that. All right, and so what I'm going to do now that I've let the shrimp get nice and pink is I'm going to add two, now you can use fresh lemon juice if you want, but I'm going to do two tablespoons of lemon juice and add it to this. All right, and then I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of chicken broth. All right, and so I add that to it. And then instead of noodles, what I have done is I've taken my KitchenAid and I have made zucchini noodles all right and so you can do as much as many zucchini as you want i just usually do it till the pan overflows and then um cook it down so i'm going to add my zucchini to this okay and you can cut these noodles up if you want they usually break with a fork eventually all right so this is actually five zucchini made into noodles and i'll show you at the end how i made those into noodles just in case you're curious how it works and so i let these melt down or not melt down whatever you call it shrink down but the key is not to overcook the zucchini because I did that one time when we had company and um, it was mush so you don't want to cook the zucchini but for just about four or five minutes I will put this recipe on my blog um, I have small group tonight so it'll probably be a little later tonight but um, so for the kids they do not like the zucchini they're not gonna like every vegetable but so for the kids what I've done as I'll show you I just have shrimp for them and then I have Green beans blowing away, if you can see those through the steam. Woohoo, it's steamy. All right, but let me show you real quick how I did um, the zucchini. So my KitchenAid has an attachment on it, and I'm going to attach the zucchini. Let me bring you closer over here. Okay, I'm going to take you over. So I've attached the zucchini, and then what I do is I turn it on, and it makes you'll see it in a minute. Zucchini noodles. Isn't that cool? All right, now, if you don't have a KitchenAid, don't despair because they make a little handheld um, green thing called a vegetti, and you can do it by hand. It takes a little arm power, but it's probably good exercise. All right, and so, um, so that's our healthy shrimp scampi. It's very nice, very yummy, and so hopefully you'll try it sometime. We love it. So, and oh, I forgot to tell you, after you get it all done and the zucchini um, shrinks down, then you just take fresh Parmesan. I got one of those little things like Olive Garden, and you put Parmesan on top and parsley. All right, bye-bye.